Welcome back, everyone. Today, we find ourselves inside a small hole. No, not really a hole. It's just like a... It's a cargo area to the ship that we're looking at today. This week. Uh, we're looking at the Origin 135C. Yeah, let me uh, figure out how to get out of here real quick. So you see these little mag strips here, these little hash area, well the triangular hashed areas, these are like mag strips. Those will hold on to your cargo for you. So you can place them down right there, it'll give you a nice little square to give you the spot to place it down and plop it down perfectly. You can even stack them in orders, then you, uh, you only have like four SCU back here to work with, by the way. There's two more SEU, or no, actually, I think you only do get four SEU in this ship. It's considered a light freight and exploration ship. CIG seems to really be pushing the idea of uh, new players being explorers. There's nothing wrong with that. You probably should be an explorer starting out, just to get to know the world. And the Origin 135C is a decent alternative option to a starter ship for you. Yeah, it comes blue, you know? Don't, wouldn't you love that? You just have a blue ship to start out. You don't have to like paint it or anything. Of course, like, ignore the 318 shenanigans with that. But uh, it's blue. Yeah. So anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside because we've looked at the outside plenty now. Yay, a gun. Opens the door. It's got a nice little stairwell there. Over time, that would eventually sag down and bend because of weight from people doing stupid things on it, like walking up and down the stairs repeatedly back and forth, or jumping on the very edge of the stairs. Trying to break it. Here we have the interior, the very small little tiny interior we get on the 135C. We do get a bed. Which is another great, great feature to a starting ship, by the way. It's always nice to have something to be able to log out of while you're out in space. Rather than forcing you to always come back to a uh, station. Which, by the way, at the moment, the way things are, you really aren't forced into that at all. But, you know, if you want to play immersively, it's nice to have a bet. We do have some panels here that I'm not going to bother opening this time. I often do, but not this time. Here's no reason, they're just ship components that you can't even really mess with yet. Soon! It's coming. People will still be able, will, they'll be able to steal the crap out of your ship. Then your ship won't go anywhere. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and hop in the, the pilot seat. Like, literally just teleport into the pilot seat. But before we start her up and take off, let's go ahead and take a look at the Urkel. Alright, so for 135C by Origin, on the weapons we've got two size 3 Veripux with two size 2 M4A laser cannons attached to them. Veripux matters because that means gimbaled. Also with the weapons we have two uh, size 2 Strike Force 2 cross-section missiles. Also, we're looking at Quantum Drive of uh, Size 1, Expedition, Civilian Grade C. This thing will get you anywhere in Stanton. Uh, the shield is a Size 1 Bulwark, Industrial Grade C, has 1500 hit points. The Size 1 Fortitude Industrial Grade C Power Plant, uh, 4207 power per second. Uh, and also, not to forget the most useless component in the game, the uh, two Thermax Industrial Grade C Size 1 coolers. It is a light freight exploration ship. I think that's just their way of saying it does anything you need it to. It's a Size 1 ship, has a crew size of you. It has a cargo of six SCUs, even though the cargo area only has four SCUs in it. I think the other two are up in like the little living corridors area with you. Uh, it's got a 2,200 hit points on the body. It does not consider the ship to actually have a separate nose, so it has zero hit points on the nose. Uh, a total of 4,450 hit points. So the ship's, you know, it's a fly on the wall. If it gets hit by a fly swatter, it's going to go down. <laughs> 
with 1500 hit points in the shields and 4450 hit points total its own missiles can single shot it almost actually if you fired both of them off at once it would and the ship can be purchased at Astro Armada in Area 18 for 839,000 AUEC. Or if you just really wanted to buy it and upgrade from your uh, your starter pack, it's 65 US dollars in store outright. Or upgrading, it would be whatever your package was, probably 45 minus the 65, so you're 20 bucks to upgrade to a 135C. All right, power on. Open door. Here's a launch. I was a little delayed, but okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get on up and get on out. I'm gonna change the camera angle here for you guys. Put away that landing gear, watch those wheels go away. Mmm, they disappear. You can't ignore the damage that's on the back of the ship. Now exiting out of her uh mm. Or exiting out of the atmosphere of uh, Crusader here I managed to hit about like I think that was around like a little over 320 before the boosters ran out now I'm hovering about 317 318 coming back out we're already I'm pretty sure we are already within range of being able to jump yep 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 so we can stop doing that now oh why did I do that no no, put landing gear back away. So since this is a starting ship and it's kind of meant for exploration and, and light freight, I really don't feel like doing any sort of light freight. So we're gonna go somewhere else. Let's go to Selen. Let's go explore Selen. Ah, Selen. It does look nice and moon-like. So I think what we're going to do here for the ship is we'll just show it off flying around. And on that note, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. You don't have to keep pressing the button over and over. That's not a thing that you want to do. <laughs> but anyhow, bye.